So first thing in the morning, I'll always make myself a ginormous jar of water and I'll grab some ginger. Someone taught me this awesome trick. If you use the back of a spoon to scrape the peel off the ginger, it comes off really easily. And I'll slice that up. And then I'll see what else I have. Sometimes it's mint. Today I've got some lemon, kind of monkey piece, albeit. And I'll slice some of that up and pop that in as well. And I'll pretty much leave that on the side all day just to keep drinking from. Otherwise I get so dehydrated. Next up, it's coffee. So I cut this jar from a really cute charity shop. I'll take one, maybe two spoons of coffee and get it into my cafetiere and wait for that bad boy to brew. I'm super nervous. Come January, I'm giving up caffeine for the month. Eeks. Then I'll down some of that. Oh, no, Sunny, you can't have any of that, my love. Then I might snack on some nuts, some Brazil nuts and cashew nuts right there. Then around now, I'll usually start making a smoothie. So I take some banana, spinach, flaxseed, oat milk, chia seeds, and date syrup. The bananas look a bit manky because they're left over from the kids because I hate any food going to waste, so I'll always chuck them in. Ideally, I'd like something frozen as well, but I don't have anything this time. It's actually quite a good activity to do with your kid. You can see Sunny's kind of interested. Provide some entertainment for him and some deliciousness for me. Yum. We added some porridge oats because it was a little bit watery. Oh, and some more dates here. And then me, or rather Sunny, will drink that sort of mid-morning time and we just hang out and drink that. Jack, by the way, is somewhere, I'm quite sure where, I think he's in the other room. But yeah, the awesome thing about smoothies is that the kids seem to love them as well so it's an amazing way to get goodness down them. Sometimes I'll also have some peanut butter or coconut almond butter with some rye bread. I love this Bayona one. Lunchtime. So I am a massive chickpea fan, so today I'm making myself a falafel wrap with tomato, cucumber, carrot, avocado, pepper, hummus, some falafel that was in the reduced aisle, which is great, and some more spinach. Any excuse to get some leafy greens down me and I'm in. Chop everything up. Sorry about my knife skills, pretty basic. Oh, and about the hummus, I know it was looking kind of depleted. But don't worry, I do have some more. I hate using so much plastic. I wish I could find hummus in glass jars. I do try making my own, but it just never tastes as good as the shop bought stuff. But yeah, I wish somewhere did hummus in huge glass jars. Oh, some avocado. And then I'm gonna get spreading. Falafel wraps are just super easy and ridiculously tasty. Pop everything in, and then I always make the same mistake. I always put too much filling. Oh, chili sauce as well. I always put too much filling, and then it's totally impossible to close. So in terms of snacking, I'll have some fruit and my favourite banana bread that I make. I'll pop the recipe below with a cup of tea, usually rooibos in the afternoon. So good this banana bread, it's vegan, made with chia seeds and water, so good. Dinner time, tonight I'm going to make black bean burgers with chips and spinach. So here I am boiling up some potatoes to start making my chips, they're looking good. Then I'm going to sauté some onions and use the black beans which you really, really need to mash all the water out of, otherwise they just don't hold in the burger. Then I've added some parsley, some chilli, some flour, and just mush it all together. I'm making it all into patties now. I've got my brother and his girlfriend coming over to dinner, so I'm making quite a few. And there they are. Then I just put everything in the pan and cooked it up. And there we go. The cool thing about this meal is that you can add cheese for any non-vegans. And that's it. 
I'm not a tidy person, tend to leave all the washing up the next day. The final thing I'll do last thing at night is take my B12 and then I'm done. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love you to subscribe to my channel or go check out another one of my videos whilst you're here. Thanks, see you next time, bye!